Okay, so we're leaving the dressing room. That's right. Like, this is Motown's dressing room, swing and ensemble, or one ensemble. Right. Like, it's special, y'all. It's so special. Let's really good. Yeah, I'm just getting ready to, get to out. hit the streets. We're hitting the streets. Dancing in the streets. Du, 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 du. <laughs> du. So, this is the corridor. Marvin Gaye. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's, the, that's, that's a good room. It's a good room. <laughs> He's a nice guy. A nice guy. So, why? Where are we going? Down or up? So, we're going to go downstairs. We're going to go to where the stage is, which is. Lead the way, sir. Minus one. Minus one? Yeah. Down. This is when you did that fast forward thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, we could just do that instead. <laughs> this is Natalie's room. This is, she's hey. Diana Ross. She oh, there you go. Room. Yeah, we look fabulous. Yes. Okay. This is your crib. This is my crib, yeah. 73 questions. <laughs> <laughs> this is Jake Berry's room. He plays Berry Guardian in the oh, show. Yes. <laughs> Big Man Tings. Big Man Tings. <laughs> Definitely not my accent. No, we know. But we can try. So this is our little notice board. This is where we find out what's going on for the week, rehearsals, etc. There's nothing going on this week, but we've got all the holidays here. We can see who's away from the show and who we're gonna have to be covering. Mm -hmm. Once they're gone. Mm -hmm. Now, minus one is where the magic happens. So it's where the magic happens. Uh, that's where the stage is. So if I ever have a break and I want to go and have dinner or something. It's mm. for the flight of stairs. Oh man. So, uh, we're fit at one time. You're, you're fit? Are you really fit? You're running away. Oh, you're getting ready to go inside. We're getting ready. We're getting ready. We're preparing ourselves for the stage. <laughs> <laughs> so, right here, you've got a few presets already mm -hmm. uh, ready for the show. So, you've got a couple of the Supremes outfits here. Mm -hmm. So, obviously, the story starts way back when they're kids. And it goes through to when they become famous. So yeah. here are some of their big, big uh, reveal dresses. This is Stop in the Name of Love. Yes! Of Diana's dresses is just here. We've got a Mary Wells dress here for the finale as well. Mm -hmm. Yes! Serving! So here in this corridor, you can have up to about 10, 15 people getting changed at the same time. Okay. So um, loads of quick changes happen here, for example. Okay. You have all of the temptations here, so that's five guys, yeah. each of them with one wiggy, uh, a girl doing their wigs, and a costume girl helping them get changed to go okay. back for a different number. So it's really busy out here. You've got the sound area just here in case something happens. There's always someone from the sound department on this side over here sorting things out. Uh, and a water machine. Oh, well, we need water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me just check what's going on in here. Oh, they're doing some work here. Oh, man. We can we'll, go in. Um, come in and then we oh. can film some stuff. In there. Yeah. Hey, guys. You all right? Are we alright to cross through? Yeah. They just close at the moment, so we'll just go up front. Okay. Mind I don't fall down the steps. You better not. <laughs> Double door security. <laughs> <laughs> this is out to the front where all the guests are. Correct. Yeah, that's where it looks glamorous. <sighs> I came here once. Turn right. Wait, to, the, to the right. Oh, this is one of the boxes. That would be quite Ooh, easy. yeah. This is box B. <laughs> What we got inside? This is a nice view for you Ooh, here. Ooh, look guys. Look at that. Wow, look at the theater. The stage. This, this is, is when the royal circle here. The royal circle. You've got the grand circle at the top just there. You can yeah. have up to 1,400. Hey! You've got the orchestra pit just there as well. Yep. And the stage is there, yeah. Yes, with the big M. The big, big M. Magic yeah. of Motown. So the show opens with the four tops, uh, and it's literally amazing. So you've got this M, and then you've got the M from the um, M25 when they had the union. <laughs> yeah, which is really cool. It's an exact replica oh, wow. that they had on stage for that reunion. And then that opens up, and then the four tops are there, and then it's just Oh, the come music. through. It's amazing. <laughs> This is Motown, y'all. This is where the magic happens. Please do not put drinks on the balcony, y'all. Because it will fall. It will fall. I nearly dropped a cup of tea on someone right here. 
What were you oh, watching okay. the show? I was watching the show, yeah. So a few of the nights when I'm not on, we just watch the show to take notes and stuff. Okay. So sometimes if there are seats upstairs, we can sit down. But I just went and put my cup of tea right on that <gasps> sign. Oh no. And then I went to get it and went, <laughs> oh no. Did you hit someone? I don't know. <laughs> Look, guys, whoever, whoever, if you ever got wet at Motown the Musical, Why this is the guy who did it. He did it. Why are you doing it like he that? He did it. <laughs> Come through. Come through. Would you like to go substage? I would like to go you everywhere. I've well. not. I don't know. These are all terms that I don't know. We Substage go. is under the stage. Under the, no, I'd love to go under the stage. We've got a quick changing area there. Okay. Oh wait. We're locked out. It doesn't open, but. I have a fingerprint that might work. Oh. Should we check? <laughs> <laughs> That's the IP access <laughs> <I'm> Lots <laughs> of movement going. Because the stage is actually quite small, they have to put everything in balconies like this and then just like elevate lift it, up. it. Yeah, and then halfway through the show, they bring stuff down and up and down. It's, crazy. it's mad. <laughs> <laughs> I should be an editor. You should be an editor. Wow, this is like really tight. So this is all in darkness during the show. Oh wow, so how do you manage to... So you've got these white lights here that kind of shine with... Um, reflection. With reflection and like neon light and stuff. Okay. And then that kind of helps you see, but there's a lot of people crossing here. I can imagine. Yeah. You just have to be is receiving. that piano real? Try it. Oh. Bling. No, definitely Bling. no. <laughs> it's been glued. It's been glued. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pretend, mm. pretend. Pretend, okay, all for stage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Got some guitars here. Let's see. Oh, yeah. This is Tito Jackson's guitar. Okay. Jermaine Jackson's bass. And I can't remember what this is. <laughs> <laughs> There's Where are you going? There's another prop stable here. Come okay. There's some prop 50 stuff here that you can see. Um, camera. Camera, which works, which is really Oh, cool. really? <laughs> yeah, but it's operated by the, the lighting system. Okay. And you've got a cocktail here. Mm -hmm. The magic of theatre. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Could have fooled me. <laughs> you made me laugh. You make me laugh. And we'll be moving on to downstairs where we have our wig stable and more quick changing areas. Come through. <laughs> oh, mate. Why do you me do this? Because you're just hilarious. So, uh, there's some times in the show where there's so many quick changes going on over there that people have to sing their BV lines just lined up here on these stairs so wow. that the mics can be picked up as well. But at the same time you're not in people's way and stuff okay so depending on who you're on for you just have to know these things like where they sing their bv lines and because a lot of the, all the vocals are live so okay. sometimes you're you're down here getting your wig changed but you have to sing at the same time and wow just listen to the show. it's crazy so you've got another couple of quick changing areas just here and here as well okay let me show you some costumes this is temptations my girl yes this is a Do You Love Me? Contours. Do you love me? Yeah. Oh my god, that shirt. Very Latino. Yeah. Very Latino. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> it's Rico Every. <laughs> hey, go through. We've got some wigs here. Yes, wigs. Everyone has their own set of wigs for everything. Mm -hmm. So even the swing, so when we're on covering someone, we never use their wigs. Right. Because the wigs have literally been measured Tailored. to our hairline, everything, so it looks as, more, as natural as possible. Mm -hmm. So yeah, so everyone's wigs is named, person, and what number it's for, so that the, the wigs department know where to go and collect the wigs mm -hmm. and stuff and, and get it done. Catherine. Oh my God, this is like an exclusive, y'all. Yeah. We've got a little hairdressing area here. Okay. So this is where, if you've got time and it's not a quick change, this is where you get your wigs done. Okay. Yeah. So that's right. You just sit here, have a little gossip, and go into the next <laughs> Yeah. This awesome. is the wig room, y'all. Yeah. I want one of these. That's right. Because I got wigs to purchase. That's correct. Because all the wigs today. after today. Oh, we got, look at all the wigs, y'all. 
It's loads of wigs. It's, low. it's a bit dark here, but there's wigs. Don't know how to turn it on. The, turn, turn the light on, but the drum kit is in there. Oh. So they don't sit with the orchestra pit, they sit in a room by themselves. Well, it's obviously, because it's the noisiest because thing. Because yeah. Oh. And that's that, really. There's another little quick change area here. Um, there's always people getting changed here, so you just have to be really mindful, because there's not a lot of space. Yeah. Uh, come here, this is called the bunker. Ooh. Ooh. Look at this, y'all. What's in here? So this is the bunker. This is where a lot of us get changed, a lot of the boys get changed. So you can have up to like eight people in here oh, at the wow. same time. So like you've got people's names as well. So like act one and act two, there's loads of different names of people and where their clothes are going to be. Okay. So depending on who you're covering or who you're on for, you right. just have to know where they get changed as well. Okay. So as well as knowing what they do on stage, you have to know what they what do they off stage. Because otherwise you don't make it back. Like, uh, wow. <laughs> that's not good. So yeah, that's that. Look at this well guy. And wear a wig. All right, all right. I'm gonna ask you some quick five questions. I want to see how I'm not you good respond. At this. Okay. Okay, Michael Jackson or mm -hmm. Prince? Michael Jackson. Why? Michael Jackson has the moves. Okay. Michael Jackson had everything I looked up to. Okay. Prince Fair wasn't very enough. big in Portugal. So <laughs> <I grew up. laughs> all right. All right. McDonald's or Burger King? I'm a vegetarian, so this doesn't apply to me, but just if you had to pick between the two, it's awful. I'm a vegetarian now as well, though. Well, before you was a vegetarian. But I love McDonald's. Do you? <laughs> That's my downfall. That's why I fall short. See? I just get to drive through and I go, chicken select. <laughs> and then I start the next day. <laughs> All right, Coke or Fanta? Coke, always. Really? Yeah. Barbara Streisand or Bette Midler? That's really difficult, but I will go with Bette Midler because her comedy is okay. everything. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. Chocolate flavour or strawberry? Strawberry. Really? Always, for everything. Oh yeah, everything. everything. I was a strawberry guy, yeah. All right. If you could only sing for the rest of your life or only dance for the rest of your life, what would you pick? Definitely singing. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's where I started. That's the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Musical theatre or pop? <gasps> if you were given the job that you would really want to do in either of those fields, which would you pick? Forever and ever. Forever. Again. Like you could only do the best job in the world, musical theatre, or you could get the most. Britney Spears calls you tomorrow. Is like, yo, I, I need you, Rico. What do you do? What do you do? Answer. <laughs> why do I have? Why, why are you doing that? I call a family member. <laughs> What's it I be? worked hard. Let's say musical theatre. Really? I think so. Okay. Because because of the acting yeah, and there's dance yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. and if I'm booked and blessed for the rest of my life, then I'm okay. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. If you had the chance to give somebody who's been trying forever mm -hmm. to get into the industry. A ticket into the industry or yeah. a child who is super 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 good mm -hmm. like never had an experience mm. but you could give them the, the break of their life their life this child is the most amazing actress actor or you can give somebody their lifelong dream they've been trying all their life to get this job what who would you give it to and why and why oh wait, this is so deep i know i know right? it's quick fire no questions. no it's, it's quick fire but these i really want your opinions on these things I would 100% give it to the older person. Yeah? Oh yeah. Why? Here's why. So, I would give it to the older person because they've worked. They know what it's like to not have that. Yeah. So when they receive that so-called break or job, they'll know how to look after it. Okay. You'd think. But hopefully, their negative experience will allow them to remember what it's like to not be in that place. Sure. Whereas I just think famous children is just dangerous, like because there's way too many stories of what of what happens, yeah. you know, and it's it's not through their own fault or parenting or people looking. It's just I don't think fame is made for for kids, right? So not even if they're like exceptional kids, like if they have the qualities of what you would consider to be a superstar in our in world. Our world. If they have those qualities, they're gonna get there. I think a little hard work and a little rejection is really important. Yeah. You know. No, I get that. I, I get so. that, I totally get that. Oh. I'm just bitter. <laughs> <laughs> okay, then, okay, 
Okay, finally, can you please talk some Portuguese to our Portuguese friends and followers who okay, don't know okay, about okay. levels? Levels. Come on, okay. go on, talk to them. Para todo mundo assistindo isso aqui no Brasil ou em Portugal ou em qualquer lugar que se fala em português. Ladies and gentlemen, please be aware the fire system is about to be tested by a board engineer. I mean, right now. You do not need to leave the building. I mean, the, mas right the message will be popping up. Actually, Brazilian. 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 Activated. <laughs> we just had the fire alarm. Yeah. I don't know what happened there, but anyway, whatever. So, what was I asking you before we were rudely interrupted? You wanted me to speak Portuguese for Yeah, it's all the Portuguese people, they need to hear you. Correct. <laughs> Take it away, Rico Castro. Gente, um abraço para todo mundo assistindo isso aqui que fala língua portuguesa. Yes, yes. whatever you said. Correct. Um beijo de todo mundo, da Emily, do Ricardo e de todo mundo aqui do Motown the Musical. Yeah. <laughs> I understand that bit. And that's that. So teach me something quickly. Uh, what do you want to say? Hi to all my friend, friends and followers at the end thing. Now say, um beijo. Um beijo. Para todo mundo. Para todo mundo. Que that's something about the world, isn't it? For everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For everyone so, yeah. that follows. That follows. How do you say that? Que segue. Que segue. No, no, no. That, que not segue. Que, que segue. Segue. The end thing. The end thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please follow, like, and share this video because Correct. this guy is absolutely incredible. Ah. I will leave his social media information in the description box below so you can follow him on his journey, on his travel because he's always in another country. He just got back from where did you go? Taiwan. Taiwan, Philippines. Philippines, because yeah. he's always moving. And, yeah. <laughs> Tell him to get a cow for his baby because Sebastian is hilarious. And I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope it's been really helpful. Guys, hit that subscribe button to stay with all the videos we post. We post every week. We impost fabulous people like Rico. Correct. And more. <laughs> Guys, until next time. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Bye.